Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the film Christine. It's a film by John Carpenter and it's based off of a Stephen King novel also called Christine. In Christine, guys, it is a film where a high school nerd, um, he's always being picked on. He really only has one friend in the school. Uh, the friend plays football, so he's already pretty popular as he is. So he really doesn't have much of a social life. Um, he also has a hard time getting a girlfriend. But things start to turn around for him just a little bit when he um, buys a used car from a guy who is kind of etchy about what the history of the car is, what happened to the previous owner, how the previous owner really got attached to this car, and how that was unhealthy for him, and how not only did this guy kind of get disconnected with the previous owner, but the this whole guy's family kind of got pushed away once this guy had this car in his life. And the guy who is the friend of this nerd starts to kind of notice that with the nerd when he buys the car, is always cleaning it, is always spending more time with the car than with, you know, friends and family or his new girlfriend. And so things start to get suspicious after a while. And after a while, there's something really suspicious about the car. It's almost to the point where the car is this guy's girlfriend and people start to get murdered in this town mysteriously and miraculously. And there's, you know, no weapon for the murders. So there's all these things going on and it's really all comes down to one or two key things. And that's this nerd and this car that he bought from that mysterious man. So overall, guys, I really like Christine. Um, it's a John Carpenter film, so, and I'm right there, I'm already a huge fan. I loved um, Halloween, and I loved Starman. The, the John Carpenter's done some really good movies. And so Christine definitely did not let me down. I'm also a huge Stephen King fan. I love a lot of his novels. A lot of his novels have become really good movies. So Christine did not let me down. It's a very good movie. So for the positives and negatives of Christine... Um, I liked the theme of how people are slaves to their cars, um, and they really are. I mean, people, we have to drive to work in our cars, we have to drive to school in our cars, whenever we have to go out to the mall or go some long-distance place, we have to use our car to get there. So the film really makes the point that, you know, we, you know, some people like to be really nitpicky with how clean their car is, both in the outside and in the inside, what the you know rims on the wheels look like, what the wheels look like, what the trunk looks like. So Stephen King and John Carpenter, we can kind of say both of them in this case, really made this theme established that people are truly slave to their cars. We, we are, you know, cars play a huge part in our lives, and Christine really emphasizes that to the point where you know, sometimes a car can also be personified like a girlfriend or a friend or, um, you know, kind of, you know, so basically King and Carpenter are both personifying cars here and it works very successfully. Then that goes to my next point that Stephen King and John Carpenter both really emphasize the car personifications in this movie. There's a lot of scenes here where the nerd really treats the car like a person, like it's a close friend or a girlfriend. Uh, he's always keeping it clean. Um, he really freaks out when he can't find the car. There's something wrong with the car. Something's broken on it. Um, it really, the film really made sure that this car felt personified, like it felt like its own character. So both John Carpenter as the filmmaker and Stephen King as the writer really emphasize that here, and it really works really well. Um, I like how John Carpenter had both his horror film and horror music touch here. It definitely felt... The musical score definitely felt like something out of like Halloween 3 or the first Halloween. It definitely felt like John Carpenter was involved with the music in some way. And I really like that. John Carpenter is very good with music and horror films. Um, and obviously his horror film Touch is present here. You know, he's done tons of horror films like Halloween and The Thing and Vampires and uh, Village of the Damned. And he's done uh, tons of these movies. And so he really emphasizes his touch here. And as a result, both Stephen King's touch and his own touch work really well here. It also ha doesn't forget that this is a Stephen King story, but what I also like is that it's also trying to do something different than what Stephen King normally does as well. I like how King goes back to the point that, you know, something gets personified or somebody goes insane over this new thing that they get obsessed over or, um, you know, so there's the, a lot of that. 
Um, there's also some elements of carry here as well. This king really likes to work with fire, things lighting on fire, uh, just like in carry. So Christine definitely continues that. You know, it definitely continues the whole high school outcast kind of thing. Uh, but at the same time, I felt like this story did enough different things to the point where even some moments didn't feel like they belonged in a Stephen King novel. But I like that. I like how we get a little bit of Stephen King that we're familiar with and we get a little bit of Stephen King that we're not familiar with. And I like how the film really plays off of both those things. For my negatives of Christine, because it's not quite a perfect film, I also think John Carpenter has personally done better films than this movie. Uh, but for some of the negatives, I thought the finale was a little sloppy. It felt like it didn't know if it wanted to be an action movie finale or a horror movie finale or the damsel in distress kind of finale. There's just so many different things going on in the last, I don't know, 20, 25 minutes of the movie. It just felt a little sloppy, and I felt that both Stephen King and John Carpenter, um, as far as handling the story goes, Really didn't know how to wrap up the story, but like I said, I never read the novel of this. King probably wrapped this up differently. He could have. Uh, but I, So I guess the way John Carpenter wrapped up his film, it felt a little sloppy. I also felt that some of the deaths in this movie, or some of the attempted deaths from the movie, felt a little too Final Destination-ish. It felt like something out of one of those films, you know, like the the... the death is miraculous and you don't know who the killer is and you know they're, they're randomly choking on a hot dog or they're randomly being choked by this or they're randomly being stabbed by this and it felt a little too something out of final destination and as a result it kind of cheapens the film a little bit there's also tons of stereotyping in the film when i say stereotyping i mean like bad stereotyping uh, a lot of you know typical bullies typical nerds um, the film really just stereotypes them to the point where it's almost kind of making fun of those people who kind of fit in that category. Um, and I, I don't like how it, it limits the creativity in the characters. It, because they're stereotyping, it doesn't allow the bully to be unique. It doesn't allow the nerds to be unique. It doesn't allow the beautiful prom queens of the school to be their own unique little individual character. And as a result, some of the characters get dumbed down as a result. But overall, I am going to give Christine an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's a very well done movie. I thought John Carpenter definitely continued his great horror film trend here. And Stephen King once again wrote a brilliant story for that works both well as a novel and as a film. And so huge thumbs up. Christine gets an 8.5 out of 10. If you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend it both as a Stephen King fan and as a, as a John Carpenter fan. It works on both levels, so if you're a fan of both of those guys, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this movie.